I transformed Reaper into Pro Tools and every once in a while I fix some things and add new things. So this is version 2.6 of my Reaper configuration. If you have never used it before, I'll link a video right here where you can download the configuration and see how to install it and the things that you need to do. If you have it and you're using it for this update, you just need to synchronize packages. You don't have to install it again. So just go to extensions and Rea pack and synchronize packages. Or if you don't want to install all packages that that you might have you can go to manage repositories and go to my name right click on it about daniel and then install slash update install all packages i finally made a floating mixer that you can create multiple instances of so you can select a few tracks open a window that you can mix them select another few tracks open another mixer window and have multiple mixer windows that way it took a lot of time and effort it was something really difficult to make but before that we have two other things i fixed one thing that is the simple delay plugin in the previous version for some reason it was making a stereo signal into mono it was only taking one of the channels so i fixed it to work properly and the second one is the vocal rider plugin this is a viewer request i added a button to switch between rms and peak detection so peak detection means it sees the waveform and it literally moves on all the peaks rms is taking an average so with lower speeds it will work a lot better if you choose peak mode you can see how quickly this is moving if I choose RMS it kind of snaps it's not as smooth whereas if I make the speed much slower with RMS it works as expected but with peak it's kind of either not doing anything or moving a lot and not reacting properly so at higher speeds you can use peak mode it's more accurate than RMS but at a slower speed you can use RMS it's more accurate that way it will give you a more natural response and here comes the mixer I'm gonna select tracks and I'm gonna click right here and boom I have a mixer window I can move the faders they move exactly this now this is all selected so I'm gonna just select one track right here and move it it moves the fader by the way it moves accurately the same way the actual fader moves the same speed if I double click on it it returns back to zero if I mute it mutes if I solo it solos and by the way you can do that also on the tracks and you can see what's happening in the window so it goes both ways and also i can click on one and hold shift then click on another one and it will select all the faders in between and i can move them together if i hold the control button or command on mac i can select multiple faders without necessarily being one after the other so i can select every other fader and move them like so and while they are selected i can hit mute and it will mute all of them but the selection will go afterwards and if I select again, I can also hit solo and it will solo all of them. I can also resize that window and it will resize properly. And I can open multiple windows. Let me select different tracks. Let's select these. And I'm going to click again. It will ask you, do you want to terminate instance? Meaning, do you want to close this window or do you want a new instance? And if you always want to create multiple windows, you can just hit remember my answer for the script. So it wouldn't ask you each time if you want a new instance or not, it will know. I'll click new instance and here we go. That's another mixer. And you can see when I move it here, it also moves here. It also moves the fader. And if I click mute here, you can see it reacts here and there. Let me create another mixer window. So you can really have as many windows as you want. Make the size whatever you want. I can create just one fader if I want to do that. I'll select just one fader and make a new mixer. Here we go. I have one fader. And also if the name is really long, you can hover over the name and it will show a tool tip with the full name of the track. Double click to reset to zero. I'm really proud of this one I worked with ChatGPT very closely <laughs> it's uh, now ChatGPT 5 is out it's not necessarily smarter but it remembers better what it did in the previous step but regardless of that it was no easy task it's not like hey ChatGPT give me a floating mixer window and boom it gave me no I had to go with it step by step and the mixer window by the way was one of the things that I wanted to make in the first version of my configuration back at the beginning but it was too difficult for me but here we go we have a working version it's very simple just bare bones so if you have an idea that you want to make even if you don't really know how to code it you can ask AI but you have to be really patient and know exactly what to ask it and how to ask it very small steps otherwise it just 
sometimes it breaks the entire code and I have to go back one step. So tell me what you think about the floating mixer window. I added the button in the toolbar right here to basically open it. Otherwise, you can go to the action list shift question mark and just type Daniel Mixer and you'll find it right here, Daniel Floating Mixer and you can run it. So again, to get these updates, just go to extensions, React pack and synchronize packages. And if you want to add the toolbar button and you don't know how, just right click on the toolbar and hit customize toolbar and add. And then you will search for the Daniel Mixer and you'll double click on it and it will show up right here. You can move it around. You can double click on it to set an icon. I chose the mixer icon, this one. You can choose another one, whatever. And then hit apply and you have a button on your toolbar. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you've never used my configuration, I'll link a whole playlist of everything I did to Reaper. And also I'll link a video to show you how to install my configuration. By the way, I'm still trying to get out of Lebanon. So if you know any employer in the West or in the East, just outside of the Middle East that is willing to sponsor a visa, please let me know, send me an email or message me on Instagram. I really want to get out of here. I'll link a page in my story in the description that you can share with somebody. Now there's a video on the screen that YouTube thinks you want to watch. So click on it and I'll see you there.